Okay, so let's go on to subtopic 1.2 which is on scalars and vectors. So in this subtopic, you need to be able to define what is scalar and vector quantities, resolve vector into two perpendicular components. This one is very, 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 very important. And then you have to illustrate unit vectors in Cartesian coordinate, which is uh, in terms of IJK, as well as stating the physical meaning of dot and cross product. Okay, so in uh, for these two types of product, you won't be doing any calculation. You just have to be able to state what is the physical meaning. Um, basically, on this subtopic, you haven't yet do any calculation, but you will be applying this, resolving into a few other chapters in physics, lah. Okay. All right. So scalar and vector. We have scalar quantity, which is a quantity that only have magnitude. And then we have vector quantity that has both magnitude and the direction. Okay, so for example, uh, mass, pressure, speed, uh, all of these are a type of scalar quantity in which they only have a value. They do not have a direction. You cannot say they are going to the left. That You cannot say they are going to the north because this is a scalar quantity. Scalar quantity, okay? However, for vector quantity, we have displacement, velocity, force, momentum, blah blah. Okay, so in th this type of we can define where it is, where is it going? Okay, for example, for displacement, uh, we can say, siapa Tehyung BTS ah uh, gitu. Tehyung BTS is going to the north. Okay, so the displacement we can we can uh, include the direction. Okay, gitu lah. Okay, so let's go on to the important bits, which is resolving a vector. Okay, so we have two t two methods, but I I would suggest you to stick to in which uh to the one that you are most comfortable lah. Okay, is it really two types? I don't really think so. But okay, so try let's try. Okay, so adjacent component. If we are asked to resolve it. Resolve it in terms of let's see, let's see how do I explain this? Okay, so x exists. Okay, now we are resolving this into an x exists. Okay, x component, or you can just write x component instead of x exists. Lah. Okay, so r x is equal to kita tingo ini ya, kita tingo ini dulu. Okay, so r x is Rx lies on the. Eh, no, sorry. We are resolving this R here. Okay, this blue arrow here. So, how do we do that? R untuk X component is equal to R cos theta. Okay, so why cos theta? Why? Why cannot sign theta? Okay, why? It's because cos theta cos is equal to adjacent over the hypotenuse. Right? So instead of using, instead of uh, putting the Rx into this direction, we are resolving it into the x direction. Okay, so um, in simple words, okay, this is the simplified version. Okay, if the punya theta, if the angle melekat dengan this axis, contohnya this axis lah, kan? Sekarang dia di x exists the angle bukan di sini it's not here it is it lies on this x exists there's an to this x exists okay so if there's an to the x exists if the angle is to the uh, repetitive juga. okay so if they touch the x exists we have to use cos okay so we have to use cos okay so let's look pula dengan ry ry pula kita tengok untuk this first diagram ni we see that the theta is not on the y-axis. It is on the x-axis. Okay? So, if the angle bukan the y-axis here, we are using sine theta. Okay? Boleh ah? Itu je lah paling simple I can do. Right? So, second method pula we can do again for... Sorry, this one is y-component lah. Okay. 
Okay, so this one is Y component. Okay, let's do this again. Kalau kamu tidak faham juga, uh, you can again just ask me the questions lah. What you don't understand. Okay, so R X untuk X component. Again, R is equal to sine theta. Why? Why sine theta pula sekarang? Eh, sine theta. We are using alpha pula sekarang. Alpha. Okay, so why? Miss, why? Why we use alpha? Why we use sine, not cos? Again, I told you. It is... The angle here is not on the X axis. Kalau di alpha sini boleh. Memang kita guna cos. But now, dia punya angle is on the Y component. Okay, Y axis. Okay? So, Y component dia kita boleh tulis lah. Ry is equal to R cos alpha. Okay? Boleh. Boleh ni, boleh. Alright? So, that is how you try you resolve them lah into perpendicular components, which is X component and Y component lah. Okay. Now, lepas tu, it doesn't end there. We have to find the magnitude lah. The value. What is the value? Sekarang ni, kamu just bagi... Y, X punya X component dengan Y component Which is what we don't usually need We need the value, the total, the magnitude Okay, so how do we find the magnitude Is we are using the uh, You are using this formula lah Okay Alright uh, Do I need to explain that? I don't think so You just have to be able to understand That we are using this formula To find the magnitude lah Okay Okay so the direction pula since since uh since this is a vector we all have magnitude we have mag magnitude as well as direction okay so this is a vector we have to find the direction as well all right so the direction can be calculated using the formula using this formula here okay all right. Huh. Um, so, okay. So, that is magnitude and direction for your calculation. And then, you can also write write it in terms of unit vectors. Lah. Okay. So, for example, if our x here is equal to 10. Here is um, 8. Ka, gitu. So, we can write it in terms of unit vectors, which is this one. So, you will then get the magnitude is uh, 10i, 10i gitu, plus dengan dia punya ry, which is 8j. Okay, so, itu maksud unit vectors. Okay, if they ask you to write in terms of unit vectors, you just, you don't have to find the magnitude lah. You can just write dia punya rx ry okay okay so now unit vectors unit vectors it can either be a b c or i j k okay so what does unit vector means actually unit vector it is a it has a magnitude of one unit in the direction of vector a okay vector a to vector yang anything or any vector okay so, because of that, we then know that i, j, k is equal to 1. It's not a different number. It's only 1, 1, 1. Okay? And i, j, k is actually three-dimensional. So, we have an x exists instead of just x, y. Okay? Right. So, that one is just you have to illustrate the unit vectors in i, j, k lah. Okay, again, magnitude of vector, it is the same way as finding the magnitude of vector for this. Alright, so uh, that is illustrating in terms of unit vectors. So we did that. Now we are going to the meaning of scalar product as well as vector product. Okay, so scalar product or also known as dot product can be written like this okay can be written like this in which um i just open explanation there in which this type lah so the theta here is the angle between vector a and vector b so it also obeys the law of multiplication which is this one so you can 
if uh, di sini 8 sini 10 it is also equal to 10 by 8 okay right so how do we calculate this how do we calculate this is by by just um okay so let's do an example lah. so if this one is two two four four two four okay so since ini kamu tak boleh just directly tambah tau because this one is not at the same plane ini ada three different plane okay so because of that we can only add at the value that has the same i uh, has the same plane lah contohnya macam ni i boleh tambah dengan i saja tambah darab okay dot dot product means it is multiplication okay so a1 is multiplied with b1 okay untuk cari untuk cari dia punya uh, apa magnitude of the scalar product lah okay Okay, so I here, J here, K here. Kamu tia boleh buat I dot J. Kamu tia boleh darab dua ni. Tiba-tiba kau pergi darab pula dengan uh, B2 yang dua ni. Sepatutnya kamu darab dua, darab dengan empat. Sebab dia on the same plane. Okay? So, the result of this is you will get a scalar quantity. Okay? So, you won't have I, J, K anymore. You will just have a value. Okay, all right. Next one is vector product. So the vector product can be written in terms of this equation. Okay, so if they want to cari, if they ask you to state the physical meaning, you can just write this formula here, lah. Okay. All right. Next is vector product here. So instead of producing a scalar quantity, vector product produced a third vector. Okay, in which they are perpendicular to these both original vectors, which is this one. Okay, right. So for this one, pula, uh, you are multiplying them, uh, using matrices, lah. Okay. So ini yang itu. This is how you find the magnitude, the third vector. So how do you determine the direction, pula? So the direction we are using this Fleming rule Fleming uh, right hand rule so uh, we are pointing our four fingers to the right the, to the direction of the first vectors and then the other four fingers is towards the second vector lah. Lepas tu, our thumb will show the direction okay remember the direction of the vector will always be perpendicular to this plane lah. right okay so yeah that's basically everything for chapter one again if you have any questions you can just message me in telegram during office hours don't message me at 12 all right okay bye